Everybody wants to swing the club as fast as they can. The question is, is how do I do that? Well, you've come to the right place because today we're going to talk about how to make a full speed golf swing and a couple simple easy ways to do it. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today we're going to dive into this concept of how do I create club head speed. So I've got my track man set up. I've got my live view. We're going to use these couple instruments to teach you some things here today. So the first concept, this is the most important one, is you've got to understand the mentality of what you're trying to do. You're not trying to swing the club hard and you're not trying to swing the club fast. Let me show you what that looks like and I'm going to show you what you should do, all right? And this, this might be you. When you watch this swing, when you're trying to maximize your club head speed or trying to hit it hard, this is what it might look like. So you're set in here. I've got my six iron. Now a standard six iron for me, right around 80 miles an hour, right? All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to swing this club hard and I'm going to try to swing it fast. Now. One is that it almost kind of hurts your body when you do that, but you've, you've maybe you've done that yourself or you've seen guys you play with. Also, the contact was terrible. So what we want to do is not necessarily swing hard or swing fast, but we want to learn to accelerate. That's the key component in almost all shots in golf. If you watch even a lot of my putting videos and my chipping videos, we talk a lot about the acceleration, the acceleration rate. When are we accelerating and at what pace are we doing that? So what you want to do is you want to feel like you're going to be explosive, all right? There's, that's a difference. So let me show you what that looks like. So that's a mentality, okay? It's what I'm thinking about. So here we go. I'm not going to try to swing hard. I'm not going to try to swing fast. What I'm going to try to do is be explosive. Here we go. I'm set in here. I'm not making any changes to my technique. It's literally more a mindset. Here we go. I'm going to be explosive in my body. Okay, so that's tip number one. Now the reason I started with that is because that's what you're going to take to the golf course. You're not going to take a technique or those types of stuff to the golf course. You take a feeling or a phrase or like I said, a mindset. So that's tip number one. Try to be explosive. Don't try to hit the ball hard or try to swing the club fast. Now, how do we train that? Well, let's talk about it. So I've got my live view set up right here. And one of the things you need to understand is from a technique standpoint is, is that the position of your hands on the backswing, and I've done a ton of videos on these already, okay, vertical line swing, all types of different ones, but the position of your hands have a big impact on your acceleration. So what do I mean? Well, I've got live view set up here. I've got the red line across, right? Here's my setup. Now, a lot of you probably do this. When you swing the club back, you keep your hands low. So see how my hands are at the red line or almost below the red line. Now from this position, there's not a lot of ways to accelerate. Now there, there are to some degrees if you really rotate and you do some stuff like that, but most of you watching this aren't able to move like that, all right? But what you want to do and what I tell my students, especially my older golfers, my experienced golfers I like to call them, when we turn the club back, I want their hands above. So I'll just, I'll just say, all right, hey Jim, Let's put the red line on there, get the live view out. Here we go, let's get those hands. See, get them above the red line. There's one, there's two, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love three centers. There we go. Now I'm just gonna feel that. Okay, that felt pretty good right there. That felt really good. So track man right there. What did that say? All right, 81 miles an hour. Okay, that's pretty normal for me. That felt a little bit higher, and a little bit better. So that's the second tip. Get your hands a little bit higher. Now, the next tip I want to give you is you've got to practice different speeds to get comfortable with the faster speed. Let me say that again. You've got to practice different speeds to get comfortable with the faster one. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. And then at the end here, I'm going to give you a bonus tip on one of my pressure movement, one of my favorite types of drills. So, one of the things that I'll do with a lot of my students is have them hit shots at different rates. So, I'm going to make a swing, and I'm going to intentionally try to swing it a little bit slower. So, here we go. I got my six iron. I got my track man set up right here. And I'm going to try to swing this just a little bit slower, less explosive. Remember our word. Here we go. Okay, felt good. Felt a little bit slower. Okay, 77 miles an hour. That's what I wanted. To, that's what I wanted to feel. Now, what I'm going to do the next one is I'm going to try to really be explosive. All right, be explosive. So here we go. See if I can pick that up. Here we go. 
Okay, a little bit better. Okay, 81 on that one. All right, that's good. Now, why does that work? It's like anything. If you take your fist and you clinch it tight and then you relax it, you can feel the difference between the two, right? Clinch, relax. It's the same way with swing speeds. When you swing one slow and then you swing one fast, you can start to differentiate between the two. So that's the next tip I want to give you is practice different rates of speeds. Now, I promised you a bonus tip and I got to tell you this. Hey, if you haven't followed us and subscribed to our channel, please do so. Please leave a comment, ring the bell because we love hearing from you. Matter of fact, the reason we're doing this video here today is because one of you asked for it. That's where we come up with our ideas. So, the last tip I want to give you is pressure movement. This is one of my favorite ones for golfers who want to make a full speed golf swing. So here's how it works. You're going to set up, you might have seen this before. So you're going to take your regular setup, and what you're going to do is you're going to bring your lead foot back to your trail foot. And you're going to swing it up, you're going to get those hands above that red line, and then you're going to step forward. Boom. So here we go. Set up, bring it back and then step into it. And I'll do a three setter, here we go. And I can feel my momentum and I can feel the weight moving forward. Now I'm gonna hit a shot and I'm just gonna feel that movement. So here we go, I'm going forward, boom. Man, that was solid. Okay, now you gotta complete the cycle with that. Now we're gonna do the reverse. So that's pressure movement forward. Anytime we're delivering energy forward, that's gonna help us get more club head speed. However, we got to complete the cycle. We got to learn to load it. So we're going to do just the opposite. Three setter. Here we go. Now I got my feet together and I'm going to swing it back and step with my trail foot. Good. There's one. There's two. This is the beauty also of live view is because I can see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to take that feel where I load the trail foot, combine it with the movement forward. Get those hands above that red line. Boom, there it is. Ooh, 82 miles an hour. Nice, all right. That's how you make a full speed golf swing. Understand, you want to be explosive. You're not trying to hit the ball hard. You're not trying to swing fast. You want to be explosive. These couple ideas can help you do that.